Hello, my name is Matt. Uh, my name is Jordan, and welcome to another Q and A video. Uh, we asked a few uh, days ago if we could get some questions coming in, and we did. So there we go. Uh, Matt is playing on Sanctum, which is a Predator Two map, which we are trying to complete. But we'll discuss that probably a bit later on. Yeah. Uh, do you want to take out the first? All right. Yeah. So question one, um, it'll be on the screen. I'm not going to try and pronounce everyone's names. Question one is, how long does it take to make a map? It does depend on what the map is, yeah, but like, fair, let's yeah. say like the little, um, the rainbow game. Yeah, rainbow battle took about two hours. I was just, <laughs> I was up one night. I just thought, you know what, I'll funnel it into something, and then that was the products. So that was a pretty fast map, a very fast map. Predator, a few weeks because there's the redstone involved. And this is on and off, you know. It's not yeah. like Predator. solid. Otherwise, it'd take a few days. Yeah, Predator yeah. one took about a month. Yeah. And yeah, then... it was like the building of the builds. Um, the redstone behind it, then the testing of the map. And for two people it's quite a lot. Yeah, well we did that one with Seto mainly as well. Oh yeah, yeah. But so. I mean I mean I'm talking about like Predator, Ghostbusters, um Yeah, yeah. Even like Bamboozle took a week or so. Dragon Zone Parkour took about two days. It was just before I went down to my girlfriend's, yeah. wasn't it? Yeah. So they do vary, it depends on the map, but Yeah, our longest one of course is RuneScape in Minecraft. That took about a year and a half. But, you know, oh, yeah, <laughs> that's a that big one. build. That was a big project. It was two of us. So. Huge. Yeah, that's that one. Moving on. So, what inspired you to join YouTube? Um, me and Matt have like had a history of wanting to record ourselves. Haven't, haven't yeah, we? it's like since like two thousand and six or something. No, I'm trying to think. Like we were in year seven at school, so oh so seven probably. Yeah. Uh, maybe oh six as well because we did start high school in oh six. Um, ah, that's true. We started on Halo 3, so 07, I guess, then. Oh, the yeah, good old fair. days. Halo 3 machinimas. Yeah, That's and we, so we, we saw machinimas. We saw Digital Fear. We saw, um, what was it called? Master Chief versus, Master Chief sucks Halo plays Halo. Yeah, sucks Halo 3, that one. And we, we decided we want to make ones like this. And we tried, but they were just rubbish. They were low quality. It was two, 240 at the time or something, wasn't it? So the screen was really... F Thin. It wasn't 720. There was no HD, and it was rubbish. It was. It was amazing. And we time. thought, we thought, let's wait a few years. Let's get our uh, voices to drop and mature. Get the best programs we can and try again. So we started that with Podcrash uh, yeah. back in uh, 2011. Yeah, yeah. So two years ago, almost. No, it's over. No, two it's years over ago two years. Started, yeah. but we actually properly started on October the first or third or something like that. Yeah. So like next. That, yeah. Question. Next question is what? In who inspired you to play Minecraft? I'll start with this one. You um, go, bro. I can't remember. Uh, shit. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. Um, your friend. Yeah, I was I was around uh, my friend Ian's house and he just I think he got linked he got linked it by someone which I think was Duncan another friend and um, basically it was the free version just online. And he was like bored, and then went just like sat off. And I was like, "No, I want to play. Get out of the way." So I, I, I ended up <laughs> punched like, him off. Yeah, I was like building a house. And I thought this is sweet. What are you on about? He said, "No, it's rubbish." But then we discovered there's a paid version. This was like alpha 1.2, so like pretty far back now, and that was just awesome. Believe it or not, though, Go Matt on. told me to get the game, but I like was like, "No, it looks terrible. It's awful. Why would you buy this?" And I was abusing it for ages. <laughs> Yeah, and then I was just like, you know what, I'm gonna buy it, and I didn't have my own computer this time. I was playing it downstairs. So yeah, no wonder you didn't like it. But... Well, yeah, I was playing like, and then I used to love just doing single player, and Matt was like, get on multiplayer. It's way more fun on the server. And I was like, no, I like playing alone. <laughs> so Matt inspired alone. me to play Minecraft, and that was in beta, like 1.3. Yeah, or it was like really that. early on in beta. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, that's that's who inspired us to play Minecraft. Me. Whoop whoop. Yeah. What was your first video and how did Peep Kajer E think about it? <laughs> Brackets, comments. comments. Yeah. So I'm assuming that means, did people like our first video? I think that they did. It's got over 10,000 like views, sorry. Uh, I don't know the exact number. And it's but, RuneScape uh, in Minecraft episode one. That's yeah, what happened was we did have videos before it, but we deleted those and started with the RuneScape project. Which we'll come on to in, in a bit. We'll mention those videos in a bit. Well, yeah, okay. But um, this video was really, really shoddy quality. I had a terrible mic at the time. Both um, Yeah. We we were really, like, primitive in what we knew about everything, like, rendering. <laughs> and, and the build wasn't very good at the time. So people liked it. People liked the idea of it and the direction it was heading. Yeah. But 
people said, oh, I can't wait for this. But a lot of other people said, no, no, this is just another one. You'll get to Lumbridge and then quit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Fuck screw you guys. You. Hey. A year of our lives to build something, which doesn't even feel like it now. But I think nah, I can't even remember building I think it, it was worth it for the whole of the YouTube journey that we've had now and, and for the yeah. fun that we had during it. So, I mean, think about all of the, the songs that we sang on Skype together, like Van Canto and everything. Yeah, I know. It so so it's well worth it. Anyway, should we move on? Yep. Um, Spiffing. So, next question is: When did you start making maps? Well, I suppose just straight away because our first video was RuneScape and Minecraft, which was a build. So I'm then for mini games as well. For so mini games, play... yeah, I think the first one, the first one I'm going to count, I'd say was Predator. Testificate fishing, though. Well, yeah, I suppose that was a that was a little mini game, but I, I don't know. It's just since that's not, I like to think that wasn't up to the standard that we usually build. Okay, I like, I like, I like to think we have a standard, so. Um, <laughs> oh, just... you're wrong. Yeah, I know. Yeah. So, yeah, testificate fishing is the first one, but I'd say Predator would have topped. Yeah, because really. I don't know whether we made bamboozled before or after. It was after Predator. It was after. It was after. But yeah, um, Predator was the first big project and the first one that we were like, let we this we can make something big from this, and yeah, that's why we've made Predator two now because we believe the first one was such a good idea, but. We've moved like we progressed so much from map making back in testificate fishing to now like the yeah. scale of things just for two people is massive. But to answer the question, we started making maps pretty much on day one from YouTube. So yeah, we threw up the content online and was like, "There you go, there you have it." Yeah. So that, I hope yeah. that one answers that. I mean, really, at the very start, um, the update videos for RuneScape were actually called video updates because the text updates were on Planet Minecraft. So we didn't really have um, YouTube as a focus then either. It was sort of, oh yeah, that's true. We had Planet Minecraft as more of a focus, and then we would said, you know what? No, this is we're doing all right. Let's let, let's start up the old <laughs> yeah. U- let's start up the old YouTube thing again, Jod. Like we've always wanted. And all right, yeah. Pretty and good. then there we go. So we'll move on to the next one. And I can't remember who said the last one. Uh, okay, shall I just say it anyway? Yeah, sure. Okay, where did the name Podcrash come from? We've and explained that... this one before in uh, the question Q and A last time. That was ages. And I'm pretty sure we've been asked a lot. All the time, so you can take it, Matt, because you okay. get the honor. So, oh, oh, thank you, Jod. You're welcome. So, this ties into the videos we mentioned before RuneScape in Minecraft that we deleted off the channel. Basically, what it was is our very first two videos were called Podcrash Episode 1 and Podcrash Episode 2. And then we had some game Minecraft series that we got rid of. But, <laughs> um, anyway, those. what it was is... I remember those. I know, yeah. What Podcrash episode 1s and 2s were, they were podcasts. And we wanted to think of a cool name for a podcast. And that was the original idea for our channel. Not Minecraft related at all. Just us talking because we thought people would care about that. (laughs) How naive we were in our younger years. But anyway, what what we did then... Well, yeah, what we wanted is we wanted to have a a name, a cool name for it. And we were looking at other podcasts and we saw that a lot of other podcasts use the word cast. So like... Blizzard's official podcast is called Blizzcast. But we decided not to use the word cast because the Yogscast exists and anything we thought of just sounded way too similar. So we took the word pod instead and we decided to think of a word that sounded like cast and crash was the first name that first word that came to our heads. So podcrash. Put the two together, podcrash. And now it's a very simple name to remember. So you can just sort of go like, oh, podcrash. Yeah, I've heard of those. And I think it's a great name anyway, so... Yeah, same. I'm amazed we got it. <laughs> so really. am I. So but am yeah, I. That's how. that's where the name Podcrush came from. Moving on. <laughs> okay. What is your favourite sandwich? Now, we added in this between all the others, just to, <laughs> you know, just for the just the hell of it, you know, just someone asks something, yeah. you... you que- I, like I, how we, we, I like how we, had to f- we felt the need to explain why that question was. I know, I know. <laughs> I don't really know, to be honest. Matt's going to tell you his because he's happy about it. No, mine's a ham and cheese sandwich because I'm fat. I'm trying to now. think, like, if I was to go somewhere, what I'd ask for on a sandwich, I would probably go for chicken mayonnaise or Jesus. something like that. So, okay. yeah, there, there you go. That's yeah. one, that one done. Yeah. Can I do this one? <laughs> go on, then. What so. editing and vocal program do you use? Now, because me and Matt both record and we both edit and we both upload and everything like that, we both use Audacity and we both use Premiere Pro. Um, Audacity records your own voice and that means that you can manipulate it to like less static um, in a local area because 
what might not pick up on fraps and over Skype might pick up on your own mic when you're recording. So you yeah. can reduce that. And also, you can then move your voice to the sa- to the s- the same what's it called volume volume yeah basically if we were to, if we were to record both of our voices through fraps with the video and if one of us was a lot louder than the other we couldn't do anything about that so, also with that as well um our voice would be the same match as like the sound on the game as well yeah. so everything could be shit really Pretty much. So that's why we use Audacity. And Premiere Pro is the video editing software. Everyone uses Sony Vegas. Premiere Pro is better. But yeah. I moved from Vegas to Premiere Pro, and I use that all the time now. So it just says it all, really. Yeah. So yeah, that's our editing and vocal. Next question: Where did your Minecraft names come from? I'll let you, you explain start. yours. And God, <laughs> fuck! <laughs> Damn it! Fine. Okay. Mine's got a great story and history and background. Oh, does it? Okay, then. Yeah. Fair enough. Well, basically, where my name came from. And I very much regret it because I don't really <laughs> like the name Matty400. I think it's terrible, but it's stuck. Um, ages and ages ago, before 2007 when we were doing YouTube, or around about the same time, there existed this website called Pixo. And it let you be, it let you make your own websites for free. And we thought, oh, this is great. We're going to make YouTube channels. We're going to have websites <laughs> with them as well. Cause, you know, oh my we, god, I remember that. We were like 12 years old at your the time. Your gaming one that you had at school and everyone know, used yeah. to play on Everyone it. used anyway. to use it. So yeah, anyway, another story. Um, basically, it required a username and a password. I have no idea. That just came up. Matthew phoned into my head. I just thought, yeah, sure, whatever. I'll just use that. And it then... might have come up as like a suggestion as well. If you, if no, you... it didn't. I just, I, I do, I remember that. I just, oh, I just you're weird. I know, I'm a freak. And anyway, it wouldn't have stuck except for the fact a few months later, my parents finally allowed me to get Xbox Live, which is amazing. And I couldn't, for the life of me, think of a name. And I just thought, okay, I'll just use that. And then since then, I've used it for everything. Fuck you, Pixel. Anyway. <laughs> You've ruined my life. I know. Anyway, with um, with Flubber Jubber, uh, I was trying to think of a name for Xbox Live back in 2008. I was at my friend's house and I was thinking, like, I need a really good name that's going to stick, that's going to last, that's going to sound brilliant, regardless of age, regardless of anything. And I don't know. I just tried to get this, like, really funny name down. And it just... Flubber Jubber just came like I was like oh my god Flubber Jubber that's gonna be it so I made it there and then ever since it's just been used for everything because that is now my persona online so I remember when we always used to walk to school with Zach uh, me and Zach were like you're not gonna use that he's just joking you'll think of a different name when you get it but no. yeah and you thought it was like a terrible name and stuff I remember I like, thought it was quite cool so... Zach, said, Zach said it was a terrible name oh yeah it was Zach he was saying like that's such a bad name and I was like no I don't care Flubber Jubber sounds amazing yeah and uh Who's laughing now, Zach? (laughs) So there you go. There's our Minecraft names. Next next one. one. Will you ever make a server with your (laughs) minigames? Maybe. Next question. Maybe. (laughs) Go on, George. Last question. What inspires you to make maps and how do you think of them? Hmm. What inspires us? Well, I take a nice stroll down the road. Inspires us. YouTube money. No, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> I knew that was going to be said. That's why I didn't say it. No, no, that's not the reason. The inspires us to make the maps is that we've always liked to build. And, you know, you're just lying in bed or something. And some people go, oh, I've got a great idea and start, like, designing something. That's basically the same with us. We go, oh, that's a great idea. Start building it. Yeah. Because Matt does the redstone, he goes, I can make that work to do that, to make a mini game. And everyone on YouTube is looking for mini games. There's a shortage of people that making original content and we at the moment are the people that are doing that I believe Yeah. so yeah. we're thinking of like the next idea for the next mini game to come so out. if any of you guys want to make a mini game or an adventure map do it because no one's making adventure maps at the moment there's a real shortage of adventure maps we're doing mini games we may do an adventure map in the future but we've never done one before We'd probably just it's probably a better idea for us to just let someone else who's better yeah. adventure maps do and it. And just just make the adventure maps great and go for it. But basically, what inspires us is just it's to just do the, it. Just, just the feedback we get. People seem to like what we build, and we enjoy building it. So that's always inspiration, knowing that people enjoy playing the end products once we finish. Yeah, it. exactly. Otherwise, what's the point? You know. In yeah. <laughs> so yeah, those are all the questions that we've got um, lined up for this. Yeah. Uh, you know if, what else to say? If you want a, another Q and A in like a week or so time, has, oh, well, <laughs> if you want, has, if you want know. another Q and A down the line, then either leave Q questions on here or on our Twitter, 
and ask us or anything really and uh, yeah we'll we'll do another one in the future if we get enough yeah so you've got anything else to say Jod? Yeah. and we'll see you in the next video guys bye